Instinct may be known better for his Ganondorf, but actually recently has decided that he is switching to Fox and Falco and becoming a dual main. He has an interesting Fox. <laughs> uh, making a little few strange faces there, but this is a rough start for him though. Right off the bat, SDing and then having to deal with a Stitch face, he actually hasn't even hit Mog yet. I like I like the high recovery, a little risky. I think Instinct's use of full hops, especially in this particular matchup, both with character and the actual opponent he's facing, uh, they should work out pretty well. We'll see how Mog adapts. He went for an up smash there, but it didn't quite work out. Mog's certainly no slouch to this matchup, though. A few dash attacks, doesn't connect. Works himself out of the corner, though. Now he's up by a full two, almost full two stocks. Ooh, nice shine spike. Oh, he doesn't doesn't capitalize, though. They can see Instinct's trying to get a lot of mileage off of hitting the top of Mog's shield. Trying to get a shield poke, trying to get a, a shine in, maybe a drill there, falling up there. Just anything to get this kill. And a straight back here will do it. I think that was a reverse up out of shield, actually. Yeah, we've seen Mog staying very grounded so far this match. He's not he's not falling for any of Instinct's full hop baits. He's not really challenging him on the platforms. He's kind of just letting him do his thing. Hitbox there from the forward smash actually uh, extended and hit uh, Instinct through the Shy Guys. Yeah, thinking about this stage, this stage makes sense as a starter uh, for, this, for these two uh, particularly. I know that uh, Instinct does not like Battlefield. Obviously, he wouldn't want to start on FD, so... Well, I do think it's a bit risky to start on a small stage, especially against somebody who's so punish-oriented like Mog. I, I think this was definitely the right pick. Oh, unfortunate. I actually can't believe the S-Mash connected through the platform there. That was kind of crazy. And Instinct's kind of getting worked here, honestly. Not looking good for our boy. That was an interesting platform land, though. Jumps right into the up smash. This could, uh... Okay. That was the first grab he's gotten all game. I think he really needs to go for more of those. You know, wait out the spot dodge. Read Mog's movement. Get the punish. But that was a rather quick game one. We'll see if Instinct stays Fox or if he actually decides to go get in here. Alright, yeah. I was expecting it. Somebody in the venue yells no but going right back to Yoshi's. And, I mean, this game started out the same way the first game did. Instinct kind of getting stuck in shield there. But I think his Ganon will do a lot better at getting out of the corner, especially in this matchup. His Fox tends to get stuck there. But again, utilizing that full hop, getting over Mog's panic option, punishing accordingly. Might have thought he had a jump, or maybe he just fast fell too fast. Arganon actually has really good conversions off of a grab in this matchup. It's kind of crazy. At this percent, he can probably get a, a fair and up smash, yeah. I think he might have messed up there, but either way, he gets the kill. So yeah, Instincts is definitely staying close enough so that Mog can't pull too many turnips. He definitely knows what he's doing. I can imagine turnips would be a real nuisance for Ganon in this matchup. He already gets zoned fairly hard by Peach's uh, float, but... A few, few uh, wave lands there. Getting a little cheeky, but he might lose a stock for it. Looks like it. Yeah, again, it looks like Instinct's just not getting as locked down as he was game one with Ganon. 
And this should be a kill. Oh, he messed up again. And again, he still gets the kill. Alright. Dead even here. Oh man, Ganon hits like a truck. I got another stitch. So that's two stitches and a laser laser beam. Beam sword, whatever you call it. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, beam sword. Wow. <laughs> and just like that, it went from dead even to stock or set point for instinct. And Ma gets the, the grab. Doesn't get the upper though in the, the up throw. These two just rolling around each other. Neither one wants to commit too hard at this point. They know that, especially Mog is at kill percent right now. If he gets grabbed, he could definitely, definitely die if he's not in the center. Yeah, that might. Yeah, that'll just do it. Ganon, Ganon kills very early in this matchup. Just in general, he's busted. All right, let's see what he can do here. He gets a fair. Doesn't get the, or sorry, a nair. Doesn't get the fair though. I don't know if he faded there or not, but he couldn't make it back on. That was a respectable showing from Instinct. 